Well, I was a therapist for many years before I took the EMDR training. I always integrated mindfulness, meditation, imagery into the work that I have done with clients. When I took the EMDR training, what I learned about EMDR is that the protocol calls for bilateral stimulation of the brain. It's originally taught to use eye movement. So you sit in front of the client and you move their eyes with your fingers from side to side. Um, and in those silent spaces, the client is processing their trauma. It's in the silent spaces that one can sink very deeply into themselves. So I started to find when I did the EMDR training that as they were in a quiet, silent space processing their trauma, I was also in a quiet, silent space just being present, you know, just, just holding an awareness and being present and being centered and feeling connected within myself and sensitive to what's happening to the client. I feel that the bilateral stimulation in some ways replicates what people get into in a meditative state and there's research on that that you know when people do meditate um there becomes greater brain integration and more bi and more bilateral interaction between the right and the left hemisphere of the brain and that enhances processing and enhances awareness so when a client goes from a negative belief and you integrate an emdr approach with bilateral stimulation it opens them up to a greater, more coherent understanding of their options and their abilities to work through their trauma. It's in those silent spaces that the transpersonal piece can come in. So as a therapist, I'm always sitting there based on my own meditation practice, you know, connecting to the earth, connecting to the spiritual side of myself. You know, some therapists don't see it as spirituality and psychotherapy, but maybe more cosmic awareness, you know, however you define it for yourself. But it's in the quiet spaces that the therapist can be nurtured to recognize and access that. So in the in the protocol, in the EMDR protocol, you know, we learn that when we reprocess the trauma, we want to reduce their stress and um, so there, that there's zero stress around a trauma and a negative belief system. And then we integrate a positive cognition that replaces the negative belief system. And we want to get that to a place of being completely true. So we'll say to the client on a scale of zero to seven, I'm sorry, a scale of one to seven, one not being true and seven being completely true, how true is this positive belief? And you want it to get to a seven. When I do trainings, what I say to therapists is, when they get to a seven, it's not the end, it's the beginning, okay? Let yourself stay with the client. Take that positive belief system further than you would think they could go with it. Go into the body with it. What does it feel like in the body? You know, notice where they go with it as you kind of just sit and hold a space with them being in, in, in silence while bilateral stimulation is helping them to do more integration of that positive belief. In my experience, they take it from feeling their belief is completely true to a belief system that you would not expect. So take the limitations off yourself as a therapist in terms of what you expect of your client. So if a client goes from a belief of, I'm not a good person to I am a good person. If you stay with the positive, I've had clients that go from I am a good person to I am light to I am. You know, it goes beyond what we're trained as therapists. Let the client go where they need to go. Take that I am statement, bring it into their body. Notice what they feel in their body. Notice the imagery that goes along with it. And it's a beautiful process of awakening that happens in the fertile ground of silent space in EMDR therapy with bilateral stimulation.